I've got the face thing working. What it is is basically in um, uh, in I've I set this path to to um, the, the problem is if you let it go with the default path, it's too deep within your um, your uh, user account profile in Windows and whatever or whatever it's just goes it's a, it's a long path name and Windows ha has a limit I think uh, I think that's the problem so I found that if I created just a a a folder on on the root of another one of the drives it's a much shorter path name so therefore it can download and install all the things the problem was where the stuff was breaking was it wasn't the, the scripts were breaking because they couldn't go to the path name because the path name was too long. So that's that's the long and the short. So if you're doing this, make sure you set a, a have a folder where you have your Critter AI stuff, the Comfy UI, um, near the root of one of your drives. And then that, that will fix the, the problems that I was getting with the face detect not working. It now works. So basically, you can see we've got someone who looks kind of like this. So basically, we've got the, uh, again, Sean Connery. Um, and then I set added the control net, you know, click on the little plus and chose face. We've got two now, so we don't want to. And then chose the appropriate layer, which has got Sean Connor in it background. And then it generated these different faces. And if you want to use any of these things, what happens is you, you see it says preview up there. You just click apply and then that's it. That's, that unlocks the layer. And, and that's this is just like a multi choice. It doesn't, you know, you can just say, oh, I want this one. Click it and it'll add it to the. Add it to the layers there. So that's that's the face thing. That's how that works. Um, so yeah, that's pretty useful. It's better than the um, the reference thing. I think the reference thing is more of a reference and style are quite similar. I think. Um, I'll, I think I'll do another video on those when I've got a bit of a clearer idea of how they work. And so the next thing was segmentation, which is a bit sort of a bit nerdy. Um, but I've got this. Uh, uh, you know, just downloaded some image of some nice kitchen, and what segmentation does is um, it it it's, it's, it's what they use for computer vision and, and uh, automatic automated tagging. Because what they can do is they've trained it. You know, they've had a person go through and trace down objects and say that's a window or that's a door, whatever, and you know, thousands, millions of images perhaps at this point. Um, and uh, then they've assigned colors, right? So this is when, when, when you when you click on this little analyze segmentation, it will then it will then it, it, it's the problem is the resolution is not terribly good on this because I think it's being trained on five twelve images or something, not the the li larger sizes. So um, you know it's only so useful really, but I thought I'd show it anyway. And th these colors tally. Um, if I can get my they, they actually can't tally with the database. So if we look at it's saying, all those is windows, it's saying painting. If you have a look, you see that's quite, you know, if we switch the thing, you'll see their windows, but it could, it's mistaken those for paintings. So I'll give it a break there, I guess. But um, so that's this whole, I'll put the link to, to this, um, which is the whole, uh, whole thing all about segmentation. So that sort of, it's, it's a bit like crypto map. As far as I can understand it, but the um, not quite getting the, as good as the results as they're getting, um, annoyingly. But um, yeah, so it's quite useful. Um, you, know, if, you know, you can see that the uh, it's got like different variations of the same scene here, and and yet the the, the bus is the bus, the people are people, and the, you know everything's. Um, so that's quite an interesting, you know, way of. Uh, Doing um, different versions, so, so presumably we could do something similar in here and type ki type in kitchen. Um, perhaps, and this is a bit of an experiment, so we'll see if this works. So we've got the control net set to segmentation, typed in kitchen. So this would give us another kitchen, but everything with d different version of everything we've got here. Hopefully, with a bit of luck, maybe if we did um, let's just try a segmentation on its own, see what happens. Um, when you switch models, sometimes this can take a bit of a time for it to load the new, um, you know, because each of these different uh, segmentation and, and li uh, line art, they all have their own separate training models. That's what, oh, you see, that's, yeah, wow. Is that it? I mean, so if you do like ArcViz, this could be potentially an absolute game changer. And, and obviously there are online services that are aimed at AI and ArcViz and all the rest of it. I mean, you might get some weirdness. It might not be good enough quality. Um... I did. This was originally 4K, but I downsized it to 
um, 2k and it's not too bad we've got um, but yeah if we flick between them you see they're all the um, it knows that the stove is the stove and the stools are the stools and you know from this whole segmentation process although now these windows have, have suddenly turned into cupboards that's a bit strange that didn't work there um, but you can you can stack the um, control net so we could put another one for edge detection to tr to make it really stick to, to the to the image that you're analyzing so you can see how this could be really immensely useful uh, you know to do like variations on, on a theme you've got an, you've got a, some, some one piece of artwork and you need to do like quickly do different versions of it that are all essentially the same but maybe slightly you know we might want one in a sort of rustic style or um one in a sort of ultra modernistic style or something um so that's that's um yeah the segmentation and the face uh you know if you put a ref find an image you can use uh, then then when you type in like i did with the prompt here just going back quickly here typed in old man and they all look for, all and this is great for consistency and character so you can see you could use this technique as i say this is better than the reference technique that i showed in the um previous video just you can see that these really all look like the same person Although they don't quite look like Sean Connery, but it's not a great picture of Sean Connery, I don't think anyway. In, in you know, but um, but yeah, so that's that's it really. Just thought a quick update. Um, yeah, I hope someone finds it useful. It's sort of a bit of a discovery, but I I think the, the thing that I I like the most is that you can still use traditional you know sketching techniques and you can use the line art uh, filter to just do all the shading and stuff. So then you kind of got the best of both worlds then. Um, Okay, I'll stop the video.